hey hey welcome back to my channel today we're gonna make some crispy potatoes in the air fryer all right so let's get started so I have about it's close to two pounds of russet potatoes you can use any type of potatoes that you like but I have russet potatoes on hand and then we're gonna add some olive oil we're gonna do a little bit of dry ranch seasoning some paprika some salt I have some Italian herb seasoning there and then I have some onion powder and then I just have some chives just for color that we're going to add to the end of the potatoes once they're done. All right, guys, so let's get started. All right, guys, so of course you want to rinse your potatoes off so you can get all of that griminess and you want to make sure like if there's a sticker on there, you want to get that off and I will get that off in just a little bit. I'm working with one hand as you can see. But you guys know how to wash your veggies, so we're going to go ahead and get this recipe started with dicing up our potatoes. I am actually at my stove, something you guys have not seen on my channel in a while because I typically do everything in the air fryer as of right now. But for these potatoes, because I like to have a soft tender inside and a crispy outside, I'm just going to put these guys in the microwave for just three minutes. That's it. Three minutes to kind of get a head start on it so that I can ensure that the inside of my potatoes are nice and tender. All right, so let's get them in the microwave. We're just gonna do it for three minutes. I mean, three minutes is not a long time. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let these go for three minutes and then we're gonna take them out and get ready to cut them up. And they're going. All right guys, so I took out the potatoes from the microwave. They were in there for about three minutes. So we're gonna start dicing these up. These are already nice and clean. So what I do is I cut them down the middle in half and as you can see here it did start to cook a little bit because of the steam that was in there while it was in the microwave but it definitely doesn't cook them all the way so then I'm gonna cut it again and then we're gonna cut this one again watch your fingers and so then we have four pieces here cut the long way and then I put them back together and I want about one inch cube, so I'm gonna dice it there, there, and then I'm gonna go one more time, okay? And this is the thickness and this is what they look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in the bowl so we can prepare those for the nice yummy seasonings that we're gonna put on there. Um, you guys can use whatever seasonings you like for your potatoes, but I'm going to put a little bit of ranch dressing on there and the other seasonings that I showed you guys at the beginning. But definitely use the seasonings that you like. We're going to be very careful with the salt because the ranch dressing does have salt in there and so does the onion powder. So um, we're just going to start with a little bit of salt, probably like a little less than a teaspoon, um, and then we will taste for flavor. Just remember guys, you can always add more, but if you put too much, you can't take it out. So yeah, you have to be really careful with the sodium. It is so easy to, to make things salty um, without really even trying. All right, so that's two potatoes there, and we're gonna go ahead and do the last one. Gonna go ahead and cube that up. So guys, how have you been liking these air fryer recipes? We are definitely reaching our channel goals. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Um, I feel like we are starting to build a community over here on the YouTube channel. Guys, I'm gonna dice this one a little bit again because this guy was a little bit too thick. We want to try to dice them about the same thickness because we want them to all cook you know, at the same time roughly. But if there are, I'm just gonna get rid of these ends right here. If there are some, um, when we start the cooking process that's cooking a little bit quicker than the other ones, we'll just take those out and then we'll put them back in once the rest of them are done. All right, so we have them all cubed up. At this point, we wanna go ahead and season them up so they can taste delicious when they come out. I just got this from Costco. Um, this is extra virgin olive oil. Um, that is definitely my preference when I buy olive oil. 
So we're just gonna go ahead and, and add about two tablespoons of oil. Now we are gonna go ahead and add, let's see what a tablespoon of the ranch looks like. So you season these again to your liking. So that's a tablespoon. I'm actually gonna say, yeah, we're gonna go with a tablespoon of the ranch. And then we're gonna have a couple grinds of the Italian herb seasoning. You can also just use, if you wanted, some oregano, um, some parsley if you have some. Um, those will also be good. Some thyme is definitely good on potatoes for sure. Now we're gonna add a little bit of paprika. And really the paprika is for color. That's what that's for. So you can do about a teaspoon of that. Then we're gonna do about a teaspoon of onion powder. And you can actually use your measurements, your measuring tools, but I'm just gonna freehand it. Um, and then for the salt, just a sprinkle. I would say start off with about a half a teaspoon if you are using other seasonings that have um, sodium in it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. Oh guys, I actually forgot to add this on to the beginning of the recipe. Definitely need black pepper. I typically don't cook anything without black pepper. Black pepper is definitely a must have in my kitchen. I would say that black pepper and onion powder are like my favorite seasonings of all times. And then sometimes I get on like a lemon pepper kick. Actually guys, I don't know if you guys use lemon pepper um, often, but lemon pepper is really good on a lot of different things. So don't slip on the lemon pepper. All right guys, so I'm just mixing this all together. We wanna make sure that the oil and the seasonings are all combined so that when we get these in the air fryer, they're gonna cook up really nicely. And again, we are looking for a nice crispy outside. That's why we put the olive oil in there and we want a nice tender inside um, that's very, very flavorful. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and preheat the air fryer. We have our potatoes all seasoned up. We're gonna go ahead and preheat the air fryer for a couple minutes, and then we're gonna go ahead and toss these in there, and we'll be right back. All right guys, I'm back. We're gonna go ahead and set the air fryer. Of course, we wanna go ahead and preheat it. We're gonna preheat it at 400 degrees. We're gonna hit the start button and let this preheat for about five minutes and then we'll be right back. The air fryer has been preheating for about five minutes. We're gonna go ahead and open that up. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the potatoes in. Again, I have the six quart gourmia. We're gonna go ahead and add these guys in. No need to spray the basket because we have plenty enough oil on there. So I'm gonna try to spread these out a little bit because it is ideal to have them a little space between them. So again, this is a six quart and that, and I had about almost two pounds of potatoes. So we're gonna set this for 400 degrees for 10 minutes. After the 10 minute mark, we're gonna go ahead and uh, shake the basket up and we'll see how much longer we need to go after that. So this is what uh, the potatoes look like in there in the air fryer right now. And we're gonna go ahead and put it in there for about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna take this down to 10. The temperature is at 400 and it's ready to go. We are at the 10 minute mark. We're gonna go ahead and give this a shake and take a look and see what it looks like. So this is 10 minutes in, and this is what they're looking like. So I just wanna give the air fryer a nice shake. All right, so we're just gonna give it a little shake, a little toss. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and put these babies back in. Still 400 degrees. And let's go another. All right, and then we'll see what we have when we get back. Here we go. Let's see what it's looking like. Ooh wee. OMG, look at that. 
Look at those potatoes. It's nice and crispy. The inside is tender. For my liking, I'm gonna call that good. So remember we had those chives. We are gonna make sure that we add those in um, once we take these out, which we're gonna actually do right now. We're gonna take these out of the air fryer and put these in a bowl. <laughs> okay, moving right along. We're gonna stop the air fryer. We're gonna put our buddy over to the side there. Have a nice crispiness to the outside. That comes from that olive oil. And then we have nice tender, tender inside. And so remember those chives that we had? We're gonna go ahead and cut these in for some flavor and some color. And if you don't, if you aren't familiar with chives, Chives is like a nice mild oniony flavor. So we're just gonna cut a few pieces in here. You don't wanna put the chives in when they're in the air fryer because uh, fresh herbs, they do burn quicker. So um, dry herbs, that's why we use the dry ones to cook because those, because those will not burn as easily. So if you're cooking with uh, fresh herbs all the way through, you probably wanna wait until the potatoes are pretty much almost all the way done because they will burn a little quicker. So that's a good tip. We're gonna go ahead and add these right now because we don't want those to burn. So it's gonna give us nice color, nice little mild oniony flavor in our potatoes. Right, guys, so these guys are done. Oh my goodness. Look at what the air fryer can do. We did not have to heat up a hot oven. Guys, these look just as good as they would if you had to put them in the oven, but why not cook them in the air fryer? I am so excited, I cannot wait. And if you wanted to make this as a main dish, you definitely can add some protein to it. You can add some bacon to this. You can add some sausage to this. Um, that way it becomes more of a main dish. I actually made a roast beef and my crock pot and I have some gravy and some veggies that I'm gonna throw on these potatoes. And these are the finished potatoes. Oh my goodness guys, so good. Tender on the inside and nice and crispy on the outside. All right y'all, let's get into these potatoes. Have you guys seen that TikTok where the lady, I think she's eating a cucumber and she's like, potato. So every time I make potatoes now, I'm <laughs> thinking about that TikTok. Comment below and let me know if you know what video I'm talking about guys. All right, so here's a potato. Um, mm. I have a little bit of sour cream on there. And guys, I made a bomb pot roast actually in the crock pot yesterday for Sunday dinner. Look how tender this meat is. It was so, it is so, so good. Mm -hmm. It's so good. I'm definitely gonna make a video um, of me making this at some point. But here's the potato, nice and tender in the inside, nice and crispy on the outside from that olive oil. Hmm. So guys, let me know if you try these potatoes in the air fryer and let me know what you think about it. I am going to finish my lunch and I have my uh-huh today. And this is the peach honey. I'm gonna take a sip. All right, guys, I am going to enjoy the rest of my holiday. Today is Labor Day. So, guys, let me know what you did for your Labor Day today. Comment below. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. So good. All right, guys. So, happy Labor Day, and enjoy the rest of your day. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.